Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and the long-awaited Charles Woodson review is here. Uh, not much to say about him. He's the best corner in the game by far. Uh, I have heard people complain about him getting burned and stuff like that, but I really haven't had any problems with him. I haven't gotten burned. Um, the only time I get burned with him is if uh, I'm playing like a zone, and uh, the guy has like Ted Ginn, Randy Moss, Tavon Austin, somebody with speed. So by the time that Charles Woodson gets set in his zone, uh, the receiver is already even with him and he can't keep up. But usually I have a safety, uh, I have safety help for Charles Woodson um, because I use the two safeties and they split the field. Uh, so either Ed Reed or Sean Taylor or Michael Huff is there to help Charles Woodson. I really haven't found a wide receiver in the game that Charles Woodson can't handle. He has a little bit of trouble with the. Uh, the more speedy possession wide receivers like Randy Moss. Um, but other than that, he really doesn't have problems with Ted Ginn or Tavon Austin. As long as you're playing man, he does play press extremely well. Uh, he can return the ball amazingly well. He's got great depth chart stats. He plays a 79 overall wide receiver, which means he's got great catching stats, so you'll be able to intercept balls no problem. Uh, he really is probably, in my opinion, the best card in the game. Uh, because Bo Jackson's probably the best card in the game, but you have so many other options that are not as good, but just but a nice substitute like Barry, Eddie George, Marcus Allen, um, Herschel Walker, Archie Gr There's so many good halfbacks. The closest cornerback to Charles Woodson is Antoine Kaysen and Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey is a monster, but nowhere near as good as Charles Woodson. And Antoine Kaysen is finicky. Sometimes he's really good, sometimes he's not. So Charles Woodson is by far the best corner until tonight when they release uh, Deion Sanders, who I believe is going to be a 97, and then possibly an Asante Samuel. I don't know what overall he's going to be. Um, but until those are released, Charles Woodson is the best by far. Um, and I would say he's definitely worth the a million coins. Um, I was happy to pay a million coins for him over paying a million coins for uh, Bo Jackson. I don't even think I'm going to ever buy Bo Jackson for that much. Uh, I, I'd probably pay like 500, 600,000 for Bo Jackson, not a million. Um, but Charles Woodson, amazing player, definitely one of the best. He takes kicks like a monster. Uh, him and Desmond Howard, or him, Desmond Howard, and Ted Ginn are probably the best kick and putt returners. Uh, in my honest opinion, uh, there's probably better one. There's probably others that can fit in that mix, but in my honest opinion, those are the three best. Uh, Charles Woodson obviously being the most expensive, and Ted Ginn being the cheapest. Ted Ginn's speed kills, um, and that that's really the huge thing with him. Uh, because of Charles Woodson's great stats, he can make some very impressive interceptions, um, sideline interceptions, uh, one-handed interceptions, diving interceptions. He makes those interceptions. In most corners, it'd be a 25% chance they'd get it. But my opinion, Charles Woodson definitely worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like.